is Take Action Tuesday. Welcome. <laughs> Every Tuesday, I'm going to be in your face, challenging your identity, challenging your purpose, your vision, your habits, your skills, your relationships. Listen, guys, today's been crazy. I've been challenging myself this month, and today, I'm walking. You forget, duh, of course you're walking. No, 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 you don't understand. I'm walking to work, 10 miles away. The sat nav told me it's going to take me about three and a half hours. Let's do this. Why? See, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. I've been saying that on my clip for ages. So this is just me walking and documenting my journey. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is simply, I'm just tired of doing the status quo. I'm tired of being conventional. I'm tired of being average. And the only way I'm going to snap out of average is if I could challenge myself. So I decided to walk 10 miles to my school. From the hotel to the school is 10 miles. Calculated it. I would have to walk through maybe like five towns and stuff. But when I told my close peers, one of them said, you're nuts. The other said, oh, are you sure? Be very careful. I hope everything's going to be all right. Concern, concern, concern. But you see me? I'm Action Jackson. I like to challenge myself. See, I don't just teach you how to challenge yourself. I show you ways to challenge yourself. So the reason why I'm doing this is because if I can shift my mental barrier, anything is possible. Anything is what? Possible. Whatever you do today, I need to start thinking, how am I going to challenge myself? It's got to be uncomfortable. It's got to be uneasy. It's got to be difficult. And it's got to be scary. If you go for any challenge and it doesn't have those things, then you're just in a playground. You're kind of like, hmm, playing around. But when those things are involved in any task you're doing, then that means you know you're being stretched. I'll see you towards the end of this race by myself. <laughs> I'm on this 10 mile run. No, actually 10 mile walk to the school, as I said. And um, I just want to teach you guys a few things about life and certain challenges that will change you. Number one, not everybody is going to be in agreement with those challenges. Why? People have a way of imposing their own limitations on you. So if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. I've got three miles to go. I've done seven. Three miles is nothing. But when I set the goal, I was scared. When I set the goal, I was a bit excited, but I was more scared than excited. 4 a.m. I looked outside the window of the hotel. I was like, whoa, and I went back to bed. <laughs> but you know what? When I took the first step and I got outside the hotel room, the first thing I heard was birds singing. Step number one, surround yourself with people who will celebrate your goals, who will sing and rejoice at the announcement of your goals. That's the step number one. Why? It boosts your confidence. Step number two, find a way to occupy your mind on the journey to greatness. Because if the mind wanders into the wrong territory, that's it, you're done. So while I was on the walk, I was listening to my pastor pray. I was praying. So my mind, I was walking for some, to some Blair Witch Project uh, forest type places. But it didn't faze me because my mind was focused on something else. So number one, share your dreams and goals with people who will celebrate it. Number two, find something to focus your mind in the dark hours. And number three, picture the end. It has a way of making you feel good. Yeah, feeling good, man. When I started, it seemed impossible. I got me my guitar, but now I'm almost done. You know, you've heard that phrase, you can do anything you put your mind to. I truly believe that. I start at 4.30 in the morning. It's now 6.30, two hours of walking. I'm getting ready for a mad challenge in the next couple of weeks. So I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm finding new ways of training, new ways of getting myself in the zone whatever you do please don't procrastinate on the goals that are important to you get moving on them get going on them you're capable of doing it but like my dear friend kamar hyman says when you apply yourself you surprise yourself when you apply yourself you surprise yourself i've applied myself on this a 10 mile walk i've done seven miles i've got three simple ones to go my leg has had its workout i call it the low input maximum results workout it didn't take much to get it going but i know what it will do for my mind and my body so boy i'm doing this i'm doing this making it happen whatever you're doing today please ask yourself 
how can I use wisdom and strategy to achieve my goals, my dreams? Wisdom and strategy. I had the time in the morning, I sacrificed sleep. And look at me now. Yes, Nat World, this is Action Jackson on a 15 mile run. Whatever you got to do today, make it happen. I did it, 15 miles. Run it, completed. I'm a champion, so are you. What are you gonna do today to make you proud? You see that? What for GTC? I did it! Ah! The time now is 8.30. I left home at 4 a.m. Four hours, 29 minutes, 15 miles, Action Jackson in the building. Whatever goals, dreams and aspirations you've got, push for it. You never know what you can do. When you apply yourself, you surprise yourself. Ah! Action Tuesday with me, Action Jackson. Let's make this dream a reality. So you can subscribe to my video on YouTube by typing Action Jackson UK. Take Action Tuesday. I'm going to be in your face every single Tuesday. Tell your friends. See ya. Run, 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 rapid, run, rapid, run, 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 rapid, run, rapid, run.